How to List Credentials in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.452.3. Let's assume for a moment I want to be able to list out all of the credentials that are available on my controller. How do I do that? Well, we can use the Jenkins CLI to go through those steps to figure out what credentials are installed on our controller. Now, if you've never used the Jenkins CLI before, there's a link to a video down in the description about how to use the Jenkins CLI. For the rest of this video, I'm assuming you've gone through all the setup steps in order to use the Jenkins CLI on your machine. Let's go ahead and go into Manage Jenkins. We'll go down to Jenkins CLI. There are actually a few commands that we're going to need to run in order to figure out how to run our command for list credentials. Again, list credentials, list the credentials in a specific store. So if we click into this, what this means is we need to pass in the store ID. Well, how do we determine the store ID? There are two other commands that we need to run in order to figure out what those are. We need to first list the credential providers and also list the credentials context resolvers. Now, if we were to go in and just take a look at the credentials on this controller, I go to Manage Jenkins, I go to Credentials, we see a couple of credentials here. So you would think, okay, the store is actually just system, but that's where you would be wrong. So if we go ahead and run list credentials, and I just pass in system, because looking at the UI, that's what it looks like. If we hit enter, it tells us that it's a malformed store identifier. It's expecting a provider, two colons, resolver, two colons, and context path. And all we passed in was system. So let's determine first what the provider is. So let's go ahead and run the command for list credential providers. What we'll see here is we have the name and the provider. You'll notice here that it looks like they're duplicated. Well, they're actually triplicated, if that's a word. We have folder credentials provider, system, user. We have a fully qualified path. But the bottom line is we're just going to use these values down here, either folder, system, or user. Now, we're going to be taking a look at two of these today. I'll leave the third one for you as an example for you to use. So our first one is going to be the system. So that sort of maps back to what the system is here. So keep that in mind. So that is our provider. Next up, we need to get the context resolver. So again, we'll go to our shell, we'll run this, and we'll see that we have, again, system, item, and user. So far, we've got choices to pick from, folder, system, and user for our provider, for context resolvers, item, system, and user. And then we still need that last part. Going back to our example before, if I run list credential system, it told us context path. Well, what is our context path? Well, we have to sort of Unfortunately, guess this one. So in our case, what we're going to do is list credentials. I'm going to say system for the provider, double colons, system again for our context resolver, and then I'm going to say Jenkins. So taking a look at this, this is just the Jenkins credential provider. So we have providers, we have our stores, and now let's go ahead and see what happens when we run this command. And what we see here is there's two credentials of the global domain, Vagrant, and the secret text, which is what we see here in our configuration. But I've also got some credentials set up at a folder level. So let's go take a look at those. If I take a look, go to dashboard, go to folder one, and then click on credentials here, we're gonna see that we have some stores scoped to folder one. It's a folder one store. So going back to our example before, where we had system system Jenkins, now to find the credentials that are set to folder one. So if I click into folder one, we're going to see that I have a folder one secret text. So that's the only credential I have there. So in this case, I'm going to say list credentials folder, because that's a provider type, item, and then the actual context path in this case is folder one. And here we see our ID folder one secret text for that store. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.